What is up guys, it's your boy Fifidons and today I'm back with yet another squad builder. Now today's squad builder is going to be a hybrid between the Serie A and the Liga BBVA on FIFA 17. So hopping straight into it guys, in goal we have gone with, just I think he's actually a first owner, we've gone with Adan. I've never really heard of him before but he's got some decent stats so I thought that we'd try him out in the squad builder. He's got 77 diving, 78 reflexes, 85 handling, 78 kicking and 80 positioning which is not too bad. Uh, he's 6 foot 3 as well and he's got traditional saves techniques which is just average what you would expect to have on a goalkeeper. Don't really need acrobatic, um, he's just a decent goalkeeper. Didn't let too much in, I think I only conceded about 3 goals in the 3 games that we played and I scored about 8 or 9 I think. Um, but moving on to the centre back positions, first off we have gone with Carrico on the right hand side and then partnering him for the Serie A position we have gone with Ramag Nolly, I think that's how you pronounce his name and I'm pretty sure I swapped him, okay no. So yeah those are the two centre backs that we've got guys, Carrico is a decent player, uh, 59 pace does let him down a little bit but it doesn't actually make such a difference on this game for some reason, pace still isn't that abusive. So it's not too bad. He's got 63 dribbling, 81 defence and 79 physical. 68 passing as well, which isn't too bad for a centre-back. Now moving on to Romagnoli. Um, he's got 67 pace, which is a bit quicker. 61 dribbling, 80 defence, 77 physical. And he's also got 48 passing, which is quite low. But again, for a centre-back, not too bad. Now moving on to the left-back position, we have gone with Radu, who unfortunately did pick up a red card in the last game that we played with him. Um, he's got 75 pace, so not too bad. 68 dribbling, 84 defence and 77 physical. He's got high defensive work rate and medium attacking work rate, which means he's always either at the back or on the midfield line just waiting to make overlapping runs, which is really good on this game. Now moving on to the right back position, guys, we have gone with Carl Bajal. Now he's actually a pack pulled player, as you can see their first owner. He doesn't sell for too much, he sells for about 2,000, 3,000 coins. So if you guys did want to pick him up, don't be discouraged by his rating and the fact that he plays for Real Madrid because he's not that expensive. Now he's got 82 pace, 79 dribbling, 81 defence, 78 physical and 72 passing with high attack and work rate which is absolutely perfect. You guys know that I love when my wing backs have or full backs have high attack and work rate. So um, moving on to the centre mid position, on the right hand side we have gone with Fernandez, an Argentinian that I packed yesterday as well. Um, he's actually amazing, 69 pace, 79 dribbling, 70 shots, 68 defence, 78 passing, 75 physical. He's got pretty much all round stats, 3 uh, star, 3 star, not too bad, you wouldn't really want to be doing skills with him anyway, and his shots not too bad either, so it makes up for the weak foot. He's got medium, medium work rate, which fits perfectly with centre mid role position, and he's just a decent player to use. Now moving on to his partner in centre mid on the other side, we have gone with Herrera. No, it wasn't Herrera. What am I on about? We have gone with Bertolacci. I sorry, I'm recording two squad builders at once. So um, we've gone with Bertolacci. He's actually really good. He didn't get us any goals, but he got us one assist. Um, he's got 76 pace, 79 dribbling, 70 shots, 66 defense, 76 passing, 73 physical. He's got three star, three star as well. And as you can see, he as well has a very, very all-round card, which is actually what you would kind of want. He reminds me of Montalivo's card on FIFA 14 which was actually a really really good card to have in centre mid. Now moving on to the centre attacking mid position guys, a player that fits so well into this team, literally because he fits just perfectly between the links. We have gone with Vazquez. Now this guy got two goals and one assist in the three games that we played which is absolutely amazing. He's got 65 pace which feels a lot quicker actually. He's got 84 dribbling which is perfect, 77 shot, 79 passing and 76 physical. Three star, three star again. So we've got no like four stars yet. He's six foot one and only cost 800 points for an 82 rated one day after FIFA's been released for early access. And he's 800 points, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now moving on to the left wing position, which is another pack pulled player. We have one with El Shirawi. Now this guy, five star skill moves, guys. It's absolutely amazing to see him, five star skill moves. Four star weak foot, high attack and work rate, 87 pace, 84 dribbling, 75 shot, 70 passing. The only thing that really lets him down on this card is his physical, which is 59. But it, he makes up with that with pace, guys. I mean, he didn't get me any goals, unfortunately, but he got me one assist, which isn't too bad for him. Now moving on to the right wing position, we have gone with Carlos Vivea. 
Um, I would consider this guy a very good player. A lot of people think he's overrated or not even rated at all, but I actually think he's highly underrated, guys. This guy's amazing, he's got high attack and work rate, which is perfect for him, low defensive work rate, but you don't really want your wingers to be tracking back, so that is absolutely amazing. In the three games that we played, he got two goals and one assist, and he's got four star skill moves as well. Two star week, but does let him down a bit, but with 85 pace, 82 dribbling, 77 shot, 74 passing, he makes up for it. And moving on to the striker position guys, which is the best player that I've put so far from a pack, and that is Inform Sansoni guys. If you guys saw the pack opening, which we'll link down below in the description, I actually did pack him. Spoiler alert, I just realised I gave away the biggest spoiler, but oh well, it's been on my channel anyway. Um, you've got three goals and one assist in the three games I've played. Absolutely amazing player to use. 84 pace, 85 dribbling, 77 shot, 75 passing, 70 physical. Absolutely loved using this guy. He's amazing. And the inform cards look really, really nice this year. I love the way how they've merged the top of the gold card and then just fit it in with black. It's just really nice. But that's basically it, guys. That finishes off the squad builder. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to see more videos from me on this channel. Thank you guys for watching, it's been your boy FIFA Dons and goodbye.